What a perfect class to be talking about randomness. Okay, sure. What what are we talking about? We're doing runs test for randomness. And just to geek out, because we're all math people in here, almost all of us, Gus, Austin. Austin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we want to see if pi is random. What's that? That's the first 30 digits of the decimal of pi. Yeah, I see the future. What are we trying to do? We're trying to see if it's random by checking odds and evens. So let's go and list the odds and the evens. Odd, even, odd, 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 even, even, odd, 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 even, odd, 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 even, odd, even, 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 odd, odd, even, odd, even, odd, odd. Okay, so we've listed them. How many odds do we have? Oh, we have 17 odds, which, since there's 30, that means there's 13 evens we're testing we first assume that it's random until we're able to show that it's not random because my ends are smaller than 20 i can use the chart in the back and in the chart in the back of the book we got our critical values to be our under 10 our over 22 that is going to determine whether or not we are going to reject or fail to reject this idea of pi being random so we assume that pi is random and then we go count the switches we count the switches it goes from even to odd and gus counts 15 he counts 14 switches or 15 runs and those are all right here where it switches from even and odd there's 14 switches which means there's 15 runs and where does that score us right smack in the middle of the fail to reject and it so turns out that there is not enough evidence to reject the claim that the digits of pi are random and that's runs test for randomness Bye.